Man, we always get some weird stories involving conservatives and sex. I mean, there's just, there's too many to, to talk about. One came out recently, there was like a group called Protect Our Children or something like that, and the guy who ran it was caught with massive amounts of child porn. By the way, when I saw that headline, I was like, oh, of course. <laughs> it wasn't even surprising, right? Like, if you're running a group called, it's like the whole um, Jerry Sandusky thing, right? Like, wasn't, uh, and what's the other guy's name? I'm blanking on the other guy's name. But, dude, they had, like, this foundation where they were looking after kids and, like, the kids with troubled histories. And, of course, they, that's when they were taking advantage of the kids. It's the oldest trick in the book, man. It really is, and it's disgusting. You know? Um, and then, it, beyond that, because that's really, really evil, then, of course, you have the, uh, the chasers, right? You have the massively anti-gay conservatives who end up getting caught with a dick in their mouth whether it be Ted Haggard, whether it be uh, Larry Craig, like all these guys. My, one of my favorite stories, uh, one, this is one of the newer uh, conservative commentators, Benny Johnson is his name. I remember he tweeted, it's the most embarrassing tweet I've ever seen in my life. He was like, um, <laughs> he said, um, why are we getting served these like degenerate ads? It was some ad he was getting on some website and it was for like, like a meat, other gay people cruise type thing. And it showed like two flamboyantly gay dudes in the ad. And somebody responded to him and was like, dude, those ads are served to you based on like your own internet search history. <laughs> this way to out yourself, man. Unbelievable. These people are unbelievable. Well, anyway, this guy here, Steve Deese, just, okay. Before, I, before we get into the clip, just look at him, right? Like, just look at him. I'm not going to say a word. Just look at him. Hmm. Okay, so Steve um, has some thoughts for us on the younger generation and sex. Mm, this ought to be good. Let's listen. If someone wants to argue with me that by removing your son's foreskin, you have limited their sexual pleasure, I, I think, man, I don't know. I don't know what I can speak of in total certainty on this program, but on this, I am confident. The men of this era are not lacking for sexual pleasure. Steve? Steve, how would you know that, Steve? 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 You're thinking about the men of this era and sexual pleasure quite a bit, it seems like. Seems like that's been on your mind, bro. On that one, I am 10,000% I'm certain that the men of this era are not lacking for sexual pleasure. And probably... All other men of every other era of man is jealous of this era of men. The men of this era have so much sexual pleasure, it's get becoming cool to just stop having sex because it's old. It's boring. All right. So I, I just, if that's your case, I, I, I'd come up with a better reason. I can promise you in this era, the one thing no one is short of if, on the male side, if they're looking for it is sexual pleasure. I would not want to see dude's browser history. I would not want to see dude's browser history. You know, it's like every year um, when they have CPAC, the, the grinder use goes up. It's like the gay dating app. He knows a lot about men of this era and sexual pleasure, but my favorite part was like, bro, sex? <laughs> That's like not even cool anymore, bro. <laughs> I've heard this argument like a bunch of times too. It's not just him who's making this argument that like, bro, conservatism is the new counterculture. You know what's counterculture? Not having sex. Saying sex? Sex is bad, bro. We've seen this big rise of the no fat movement too. Like, beating your meat is gay? Why would you want to, why'd you want to get your nut off, bro? That's like, that's like bad and stuff. The cool thing to do is to sit there being horny 24 seven and never relieving yourself. The cool thing to do is to have come dripping out of your ears because you haven't nutted in a week and you're just sitting there like this close to doing a mass shooting, bro. That's what you got to do. Never have sex, never beat off. Just sit there, watch some Tim Pool, watch some Jordan Peterson, bro, 
and you'll be good. That's what you do. <laughs> oh, man. What are we going to do with these guys? What are we going to do with these guys? Anyway, um, there you have it. One, Steve Deese. This guy has a show on the Blaze TV. It's being a conservative commentator is like the easiest job in the world, man. You could just phone it in, <laughs> right? And just do the lowest tier commentary. What do we got here? Possibly related. Do not be ashamed if your marriage needs work, Christian. Here's the truth. All of our marriages need work. We're all battling the flesh daily. We all depend upon God. We all must grow in forgiveness and patience and kindness and gentleness, me included. Seek wisdom and help. Steve D's response to that, Amen. My marriage nearly fell apart three years ago, and only by the grace of God did it survive and now thrive. Hmm. Why did it, uh... Why did it fall apart, Steve? What was going on? What was going on? Very curious. Anyway. All right, there you have it. Steve Deese, Conservatives Being Weird About Sex, Part 7943. Hope you enjoyed. All right, guys. That's the show. I love all y'all very much. Thank you as uh, thank you very much for listening to me babble on a daily basis. I truly appreciate it. Everybody, uh, do me a favor. Shameless plug time. Click the like button. Click the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 2 million subs now. Click that little bell icon so you get a notification every single time a video drops. That thing is super important and helps out tremendously. Um, and also, uh, support the show on Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Just a couple bucks a month helps. Remember, we talk to no advertisers on this show, and I'm very proud of that fact. We do it small dollar donations. That's all we got. So hook a brother up with some Patreon dough. Or I think there's now a YouTube uh, tipping button. There's just like a thanks thing underneath. You could tip that way too if you want to give two bucks, five bucks, whatever it is. Um, really appreciate that. And also support Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. We'll have an awesome Crystal Kyle and Friends for you this week as well. All right, love you guys. I'll talk to everybody soon and peace. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.